Eva, how common is bed wetting? It's more common than you think. It's uh, approximately one out of five five-year-olds and one out of ten ten-year-olds. And even the adults are bedwetters, about one to two percent, but probably underreported because people don't talk about it. And from your experience, is there one common cause? No, it can be a, a variety of causes. For children, it can be family history. If you have a parent that is a bedwetter, it's very likely that you are a bedwetter. And if both parents are bedwetters uh, in the past, it's probably more likely that you are. And it can also be bladder capacity. The, the bladder is not you know, big enough or you know, the bladder produces too much urine or um, you don't have the brain bladder connection. So kids can sometimes be referred to as deep sleepers. So for them, they don't really understand that when it's time to go, they should wake up. They just let go and wet the bed. So quite a few reasons why you're a bedwetter. And what do you find is the response from parents? I think when you get up to the school age, if you're not dry by then, um, it can be stressful for the parents. But also when, as the kids grow a bit older, they become more aware. So it can be very stressful for a child, if it's time to go to a sleepover or a school camp, a child can be afraid or anxious about being bullied about the bedwetting. So a parent, you know, always trying to find a solution for the child. You know, what should I do? How can I, you know, help my child so he can actually attend the activities with all the other kids without being stressed? And I imagine for parents managing it just practically, it's quite challenging? Yes, because it can mean lots of washing and lots of laundry. So waking up in the middle of the night and you have wet sheets, wet dunas and you might have to change sheets and so forth and uh, it can take lots, lots of time. So um, yeah, I do get questions from parents about that all the time. Is there an age that is considered too old to be wetting the bed? No, it's not. So it can go up to the teenage year and even older for some people. Um, I think age of seven, it's probably a time where you start to think about what the options are to help and treat the child because they haven't grown out of it, so help them along the way. What kind of treatment options are available then? The first line of treatment is bedwetting alarms. And that is actually to help the child train on, on the connection between you know, brain and bladder. Uh, usually recommended for around the age of six, seven. So when an accident occurs, it sets off the alarm the child understands that they are wet by the alarm waking them up. And then the parents should then help the child to you know, go to the toilet so they start to get an understanding of the routine. And this can take time. It can take four weeks, it can take you know, four months. <laughs> so you have to be persistent. You have to you know, keep motivated. You know, both parents and child should keep motivated. And it's to understand that when you have a full bladder, it's time to actually wake up and eventually that leads to a dry bed. Uh, and what are the success rates? A study from the Royal Melbourne's hospital here, in, here um, says 80% success rate of doing a bedwetting alarm training. So it's, uh, it's considered quite a successful treatment. So is it the case that it's just something you grow out of? You can grow out of it, but um, you shouldn't wait too long before you, you know, have a look at it. And if you are worried, you should actually seek help from a healthcare professional. What is the best way for parents to speak with their children about this? I think it's very important to be open and not speak from the angle of like shame or blame them or being angry. This is not their fault. It's nobody's fault. You know, work with the child, have good nighttime routines. If you work with a bedwetting alarm, incorporate the child into the process. What does it mean to use a bedwetting alarm so they feel part of it? Um, it's part of the process that so they work together as a team. So openness and uh, understanding and encouragement.